Good morning students. Welcome to English grammar class. And today's topic is tenses. That is what tense. is tense? Tense is a form of verb that indicates the time of action or state. It actually describes when any action happened with respect to time that action took could be past, present or future. Consider this timeline. The circle represents the present time. Line left to the circle is the time which is already past. And the line right to the circle is the future time. So my dear children, tenses means which shows the time of action. Let me explain you in Kannada. Tenses andare kalagalu. And there are three types. Muru vidagalu. Present tense means vartamana kala. Which means what is happening now is present tense. In Kannada we say Nadirthiruva kriyagalannu suchisude vartamana kala. And we call it as simple present tense. Second is past tense. Past tense means Bhutakala, which has already happened. In Kannada, we say, Nadidu hoda kriyagalannu suchisude Bhutakala. That is simple past tense. And the third one is future tense. Future tense means Bhavishyakala. Bhavishyakala means which is yet to happen. And in Kannada, we say, Nadeya Bahudada Kriyagalanu Suchi Sude Bhavishyakala. And that is future tense. Arthaitamakale. Now, let me begin with some examples of simple present tense. These examples are from your workbook, children. Okay? Tim plays football every day. Fish lives in water. And the third one is. They go to church every Sunday. So here, place, lives and go are the doing words or action words which refers to the present time. That is simple present tense. There are basic rules in simple present tense that we should remember. Concentrate and listen to me carefully children. It is very important to understand this. There are two basic rules. The first one is we should add S or ES to the action words that comes after he, she, it or singular naming words. And the second basic rule you should remember is do not add S or ES to action words that come after I V, U, they are plural naming words. Let me explain you all with examples. Okay, now can you see these two columns children? The first column is add S or ES to the action words that comes after he, she, it or singular naming words. And the second column is do not add S or ES to the action words which comes after I, V, U, they or plural naming words. Look at this first example. He goes to the park every day. This sentence consists of word he. So here we need to add ES to the action word. Next column. I go to the park every day. In this sentence, we have the word I. Hence, we shouldn't use S or ES to the action word. Next example, she lives in that house. This sentence also consists of word she. So, here we need to add S to the action word. And the sentence will be, she lives in that house. Next column, we live in that house. In this sentence, 
we have the word v so we do not add s or es to this action word next the last example it barks loudly this sentence consists of word it hence we need to add yes to the action word next column dogs bark loudly here you can see the word dogs is a plural naming words so do not add s or es to this action word is it clear children next we'll move on to simple past tense are you all bored children let us have a small break then we'll continue Welcome back children. Let me start with the simple past tense. Simple past tense is the form of the verb that shows the actions which already happened in the past. For examples, here you can see two columns. The first column are the examples of simple present tense and the second column are the examples of simple past tense. First example, I study for my exam. When you convert this sentence to the past tense, it becomes I studied for my exam. Next example, he likes to study. When you convert this to past tense, it becomes he liked to study. Next, they watch a movie is a present tense. When you convert this to the past tense, it becomes they watched a movie. In this past tense also, we have some basic rules to remember. The past tense forms of action words are made by adding D, ED or IED. In simple past tense, most of the action words that end with letter Y, we change it to IED. Remember children, I repeat it again. Most of the action words then end, that end with letter Y will change it to IED. For example, present and past. Like, liked. Here we have added D. Next, smile, smiled. Rain, rained. Here we have added ED. Next, cook, cooked. Next, copy, copied. As I have told you all before, when an action word ends with the letter Y, we need to change it to IED to make it into past tense. Next, try, tried. Cry, cried. Here we have completed grammar part, tenses, simple present tense and simple past tense. Future tense you will be studying in the next academic year. Stay home and stay safe. Let's pray for our country. Thank you.